The gospel is centered on the atonement of our Lord and Savior. The atonement provides the power to wash away sins, to heal and grant eternal life. All the imponderable blessings of the atonement can only be given to those who live the principles and receive the ordinances of the gospel. Faith in Jesus Christ, repentance, baptism, receiving the Holy Ghost, and enduring to the end. Our great missionary message to the world is that all mankind is invited to be rescued and to enter in the fold of the Good Shepherd, even Jesus Christ. The Robles family was a referral. They were a referral from the ward. The ward actually told us to go and visit them. Brother Robles, Teddy Robles, is a less active. He's been less active for most of his life. He married a Moor, and she's a non-member. They have two little kids. Fabian's nine, Nayeli's two. We stopped by to go visit them. Um, and Nayeli was actually outside. It was perfect. I don't know how else we would have been able to get in because we're just like, Nayeli, hi. And then the mom came out and she let us in. <laughs> when the missionaries came, yeah, I was a little reluctant. I was, I don't need this right now. Amor's always had a lot of doubts. When we first started teaching her, the Book of Mormon was a problem for her. Once she started praying about it and reading it, she told us, she said, I feel my faith building. It was one of those moments where I was like, I'm doing my job. And that point, I, I realized that I need something else in my life. I know in my heart it's gonna be hard, <laughs> but I'm gonna take a chance. We don't teach the lessons just to teach the lessons. We teach the lessons to build their faith. What happens if you don't repent? Or what? If you don't repent? Yeah. So if you don't feel sorry for what you did? Yeah. I think that you'll just feel sad, you know? And you wanna, f and when you repent, you feel that happiness. You feel peace. And so that's why it's a blessing to repent. Accepting God in our lives, He's given us a power to change things that we did wrong. And I believe that with that great power comes with a great responsibility. This is from an apostle, Dallin H. Oaks. And he explains about his mom. And his mom was actually widowed. Her husband had passed away. And he asked her why they paid tithing, because they were really, really poor. And she said to him, I cannot raise you children without the blessings of the Lord. When I pay my tithing, I have the Lord's promise that he will bless us. And we must have those blessings if we are to get along. So think for a second about the blessings of the Lord in your life. And think about what he promises in Malachi, that he'll open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that you won't even have room enough to receive it. Now I get it. I mean, now I, I understand what the, why, why it's important to, to help God with this 10% this, um, of whatever we have, right? Yeah. So, so after you are baptized, will you live the law of the tithe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fabian, will you live the law of tithing? Mm -hmm. I, I think I will. Because you see that their faith is increasing, that they want to come to church, or that they are reading their scriptures, that they're, they have that desire, that it's growing. Every time I go to the church, I feel happy because finally my whole family is together. They have the same goal now. They know where they're going with their family. Only tears can describe the feeling, the, the joy that I had that, that day. It was beautiful. I had a really good experience when my dad put me under water. I started to feel the Lord. These feelings you can't describe. Okay, they, there's no words you can actually put to these feelings because it just fills you up. I can't describe it with words. It's something that you feel, and you feel good. And you feel like Jesus Christ is, is receiving me. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> now that the Robles family has been baptized, our role is to make sure that the, the ward is getting involved as well and that there's a good handoff from us to the ward and just doing the best we can to follow up at ward council with the different leaders and see about their home teachers. They're going to still have spiritual guides because they'll have the ward right there with them. The Robles family is so special. And Sister Boaz and I really love them so much. As we've taught them and helped them get over things that bothered them, we've grown with them. And it's like that with all of your investigators, you know? If you're thinking about them, if you're really fulfilling the purpose and just thinking about them, then it's inevitable. You'll just start loving those people so much. And you'll think about, you know, what they need and then just not think about yourself. You know, when you think you're not, you're inadequate, you just think, you know, what do I need to do to help them? Amor and Teddy and Fabian and Ayjeli. We're gonna be part of their lives forever. <laughs> we're gonna come back when they get go through the temple, when they get sealed. We're gonna make sure that we do everything we can to help them stay active. You hear? Everybody cares about you. Even they don't know you, they always are a, a warm smile to you. And if it is here on Earth, there's everybody welcome you here on Earth and you feel the warmest, they feel good, can you imagine in the in the heaven in the heaven? I just can't wait. stayed in contact with the Robles family. And about a month and a half ago, um, we got a message from Moore, and she told us, she said, we've talked to the bishop, and um, we feel that we're ready to um, to be sealed as a family. Laura and I were just like, ah, like screaming so loud. And I just wanted to start crying. I was just like, oh my goodness, the Robles family's ready. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> I'm just filled with joy and happiness. I can't even describe it. I'm just so humbled to be able to be part of this experience. Oh, <laughs> A few years ago, I never think about being a member of this church. But right now, I'm saying, look where you are. You're about to be sealed to your family. You're the one who, who reject this church. You're the one who say no many times. And now look at you, you're here because you, you know this is a true church. And it's a great, great gift that my Heavenly Father has given me to be with my family for the eternity. I'm grateful for that I've actually had a second chance. Yeah. We're grateful to be in this church, be part of this family, knowing that Jesus Christ lives 